Oh, we're live! <laughs> we're live! No way! Hello and welcome to VR Mel Channel 1. Let's have some fun! I don't know how many casts were done, but hey, we're gonna get some in tonight. I'm the one you see. Nah, you'll see me soon, maybe. And uh, next to me is Offbeat. Oh, hello. And on the wonderful cams of the Wonder T Man. Man, oh man, I mean Offbeat. It's a new season. Season 6. It's finally here. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. The off season, like it was great. It was refreshing, uh, but very, very eager to get back in. Uh, it, I've, I've been able to cast a few games so far this season, and it uh, it has been so, so good uh, to get back in here. Feel feels amazing, and I'm sure the players are having a ball as well. Oh yeah, I am sure they are. Um, but oh man, it's a good time. Hello to everyone in chat. Too fast VR. Hello, Wand of Sparking. Is this Masters? Yes, this is Masters. This is seven against the one and only Instinct, uh, who are uh, who was were the champions of season four and the runners up last season. However, uh, there is a bit of a roster swap here. If you aren't aware, uh, it is no longer Strombitsky, the man, the myth, the legend. It is now uh, Cruz and Meatballer, Oculusator, XA, and Ow on the side of Instinct. And seven is a team back from season four. Uh, that, you know, they tried playing on some other teams, played different, but if you saw those Masters qualifiers, they, uh, they played pretty well and uh, snuck in a swat to get uh, Zuck, Citizen, Desirable, G Tyler, and H Money uh, back into Masters. So definitely a good game to watch. We're just waiting for all eight players to get in the arena, but, I mean, this is going to be a good match off speed. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, a couple of teams here still early on with something to prove. I mean, uh... Uh, seven. Uh, they've played two games so far this season without a win so far. Um, so, you know, I'm sure they, they've got some there. They're sitting currently at the bottom of that master tier, but hey, uh, they earned their spot here. They earned their way to master. So now, you know, they're taking a little bit of time, getting used to the, you know, the higher level of play uh, that exists up at this level. And I'm sure we're, we're going to be seeing good stuff from them in the future uh, once they get those things, you know, once, once they get it all figured out. And I mean, instinct obviously is coming in here even though it's not the same instinct team that we saw last year there are still a ton of players on that team with a lot of master experience and you know it, it's going to show especially early on in the season here um it's it's definitely gonna play to their advantage they're sitting right now at one win uh one loss on the season having uh taken that one over redshift and uh, dropping to vicious so you know uh still uh still lots of time to see uh what direction their season is going to go this year yeah, there really is. And you know what? It's always great to see, you know, these teams and these players come back maybe after a little break like Seven has. Um, but, you know, it is uh, exactly who are we spectating right now. Too fast. We're spectating the warm up, the pregame. We're spectating uh, Seven and Instinct. Uh, oh, Desirable is the answer. Wonder Team Man tells me. Yes, you are looking at Desirable, the one and only, who unfortunately, undesirably disconnected from the server. And now he's back. All right, that's good. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we have seven out of eight players in the arena. And, uh, well, hopefully they will get all eight sorted away very shortly. We have pinged them. Yes, Offbeat? Oh, yep. We have absolutely right. pinged them. Dope. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but this is not the only match of the night coming up after this match. Seven versus Instinct is Team Under... Sorry. Underground Nation against Carlos... Uh, which should be a good one as well. And, well, we picked that one not only because we were free, but also because it had the most hype votes at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, and uh, 3.30 
British time if any of you folks from the <laughs> EU are out there. Uh, but nevertheless, this is just your friendly neighborhood reminder. If, if you do want your match casted, you know, buy VRML. Uh, there's one, only one way to get it guaranteed. I know everyone loves DMing me saying, hey, Luke, can you cast my match? And you know what? I would love to cast your match, but if you ask me, I will never cast your match. Um, you can use the hype boat system, which are the little orange triangles uh, next to your match on the match page. And you can also redeem 15,000 channel points to guarantee a cast within two weeks. I know everyone likes recommend, you know, suggesting a particular match, but really uh, we say we'll get it done within two weeks. Uh, at least we try to um, to get that done. There, we can't unfortunately guarantee a cast based off everyone's availability. Uh, but you know what? Hey, if you are interested in joining our team, joining the mod team, joining the production team, uh, we'd love to have you. Check out vrmasterleague.com forward slash equarena forward slash apply. Uh, we would love to have you. You know, we're all volunteers. We all just do this for fun. Um, so, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out here with us. And uh, with that, Vivi plays X. Thank you for the hydrate. I have two glasses of water next to me. So, uh, cheers. Oh, very nice. I've got my old trusty, reliable uh, water jug here that, yes, my wife uh, did buy these, but I have them running every game. They have been great. They're perfect for this. You got, like, the one liter, got the straw, so I don't have to worry about spilling anything. Have it spilled yet, uh, at least. Still lots of time for things to go horribly wrong. Well, maybe yet is the key word, and, well, maybe yet is the game we are going to start uh, because I do see players moving back into their locker room. But uh, too fast for you. Do you guys pick what matches you want to cast, uh, or do you get 15,000 channel points? So we don't get 15,000 channel points. You basically, <laughs> well, you actually burn those 15,000 channel points, and you earn them by both using the prediction pulls uh, and by simply just watching the stream. Uh, you will get... Uh, channel points for just simply being here and when you have 15,000 uh, you can then redeem it uh, by burning those points and you know we'll see that and cast your team's match so make sure when you do redeem it you do send it but uh, to answer your question is so the instinct one uh, was based off of hype boats and of course when you're in the higher tiers master tier we do uh, tend to prioritize those casts and then uh, also leading up to challenger cup uh, and then for the second one of the night Team Underground Nation against Carlos. That was simply hype boats. So they simply had 15 hype boats, I believe, um, at least at the time that we watched it. And uh, hey, 15 hype boats was more than anyone else. So that's how we picked that match. So it really just we use the systems at play. I know, unfortunately, you know, we weren't able to cast everything because there's so many teams now. Uh, so definitely excited for that. But that's kind of the way it works. But hello, Land on PP. Thank you for that. Um, that's a lot of pog faces. Strange. I like it. Do I DM someone once I get 15,000? Uh, so once you submit 15,000, you just have to be patient. It's like a game of golf, right? You want to go under par. You want to have a good time. Um, and so you can DM us and say, hey, I redeemed 15,000 channel points if we're not live at the time. But otherwise, uh, you do want to make sure that, uh, you know, if we're live, then we'll see it. And uh, we'll log it and we'll make a note. But uh, yes, if no, if you're not live and you just redeem it out of the blue, then definitely do. Uh, you know what? I'll 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 sacrifice my inbox. Uh, you can DM me and uh, I'll make a note of it in the in the proper place. Uh, all good, Lando. All good. I appreciate you uh, sending the love. But hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, I know. Uh, I, I know Wonder's doing well. Wonder just came back from the Redshift land. And was this your first land, Wonder? It was his first LAN. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not, but uh, that's super cool. If you haven't gone to a LAN, go to one. It doesn't matter. Just go to one. It's just, it just doesn't matter if it's if you play or not. Just the social experience, the seeing the people you've seen around, if you've been around, you know, a little while, is just so incredible. I've never talked to Wonder about this, but I'm almost certain that was their their experience uh, because it's just fun. Uh, I've never I'm met looking... anyone who doesn't have fun at LAN. Sorry, go. I'm. I'm looking forward to going to my first one uh, coming up in October. Uh, there's going to be a LAN event that I've been, I've been, uh, I will probably be doing some casting for. That's going to be taking place in Toronto end of October. Um, so I know tickets just want to sell for that one. So I'm super excited for that one. Going to be my first LAN event and see, uh, you know, uh, excited to see a lot of people that I've, you know, interacted with online and played against and, and chatted with and finally meet up and see some people in person. So I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, it certainly will be a good time. I look forward to seeing you there. Um, I know my team will be coming over. Um, and yeah, I mean, hey, if you've been with your team for a while, if you, you know, um, you know, can afford to, obviously, then uh, hey, try to convince your team to come out, meet up IRL, you know, break the barrier, 
and uh, you know, you never know what will happen. Um, but are they going to ready up? I certainly <laughs> hope so. Too fast. I certainly hope so. Um, they have been pinged, but right now, Instinct unfortunately uh, only has three players. They have been rotating out of three players. I could have sworn they had four players at one point, but they did. Someone's, they did. someone's they did. having an issue right now. I want to know what's going to happen. I'm hoping seven comes out on top. Well, you know what? If you if you are right, you're going to get 2.74 times as many points as you put in. So that's pretty good. Simple economics. Yeah. Is there ever going to be another Richmond VA land? Um, I, I mean, I don't I don't know anything about Redshift, really. Um, but, um, you know, I have no idea. So I, I, I will probably say a solid, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, is a very useful answer, I understand. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. We be vibing. We be vibing. NA underdogs aren't just bark. I put 11. Westy and Dash. Well, hey, if you put 11, that means you could potentially get, like, almost 30 points that's really good like that's almost as much as you could points. get you have 30 points <laughs> off me i have 7.9k that i have no explicitly... no no you don't have 30 points 7.9k is not 30 points so it's not so we it's don't not. have 30 points so you know what that's a really good bet man that's a really good bet see uh, westy you're, you're just onto something right now it's it's almost as much as you could get uh by watching and clicking the little the little uh bonus button <laughs> Almost. No, it's actually half. You get 60 <laughs> every 15 minutes. <laughs> but that's okay. We have eight! Maybe we can start this match soon. But mm. we do have eight. Uh, but uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us here on I, Channel I have... 1. As we do get the ready up. So here we go. Let's have some fun as oh. we go into round one. Uh, no one paused. Are we readied up? We did. All right. We have seven in orange and instinct in blue. Let's see what these teams are going to do as they come to the neutral joust. Offbeat, take us away. And they're in the tunnels. They're out of the tunnels. Disc is loose, and it is going to be seven getting to that first with the headbutt, and they've got the follow-up to, <laughs> to follow through. There it is, a quick pass coming in. The defense not able to get back in time. Zucks is going to put their team on the board right away. Seven coming out the gate, flying. And, uh, yeah, super quick 2-0 lead. Uh, exactly, exactly the start Seven was looking for here. Yeah, it really was. Them coming out strong. Zucks, 17.3 uh, from 5 meters out. Hey, we take those. But Instinct is looking to come right back. But that's a missed pass. No, it's a beautiful bounce pass, actually. But what a save from G. Tyler, who says no way. Looking for the clear. Not going to find it. But they will find the high bounce across. Are they going to get a hand on it? Yes. Yeah, 7 looking for the half court. Taking the shot. Not going to be a half court. Will be a bounce. Can that get read by the back stack? Yes. No. Well, maybe. But not really. Because it's just going to get cleared right back. But not quite through. As Instinct doesn't pick it up. Seven has an open net. They take a shot. They get three more. Citizen doing their due diligence, making it five for seven. Yeah, seven really. They, they've lost their first couple games this season. They're coming out with a vengeance here, trying to get that, that ever difficult first one. And right now, it looks like uh, they've kind of got Instinct on the back foot now, right? Instinct had a chance. They recovered in the defensive zone there but weren't able to, to get the clear together, right? They got it up to the mid, but they are, they weren't able to get at those last few important feet. And finally, for the first time here, really uh, getting set up is going to be instinct. They've got a couple good passes, but the defense is back, so they're going to have to slow it down, and this is going to reset back. Meatballer looking for Cruzen on the back line, and Cruzen, just a ton of space as uh, Seven's really sitting on that bubble D. So Cruzen's going to make his way up here. He's going to find it across to Oculusator. Oculusator looking for a pass. Not able to find anyone open. Still backing up. Finally find someone cutting down below. Cruzen is going to reset it back now. It's XA. XA has an open target on the sideline. Looking for the cut. Is it Oculusator? It is Oculusator. There we go. Instincts getting on the board for the first time. Cutting this lead now to 5-2. Yeah, I mean, what a play from... The one and only Instinct, who will make it a three-point game. But also, hey, it's Echo Arena. Five points is just two goals. It's also Master. These players are absolutely cracked. And uh, Instinct ain't no exception. As they do get pressure, Seven looking for the cross pass. Not going to be a good pass. It's going to get stuck in that popcorn area. It is going to get picked up, though, now by Citizen. Citizen going for the reset. Connecting to G-Tyler. G-Tyler sending it one more back. Zucks now with the disc. 
under pressure by Oculusator. Going to find the left side pass to Desirable. Desirable going high, connecting with Citizen. Citizen diving in, maybe looking for the backboard. Nope, flipping around, looking for more, looking for a two. And yes, they score as Citizen makes it a 7-2 game. Yeah, Citizen there ducking around, trying to see if G Tyler could find the stun on the goalie. Was never able to. Some good uh, some good defensive play with the shield there, but it was enough. Kept the goalie moving around, kept him with those hands up, and as a result, wasn't able to reach out and get that disc when it got pocketed uh, into that corner. Uh, very good play, good patience, waiting just long enough to make sure, you know, they had as much chance as possible at putting that in. Because Seven now really has scored on nearly every opportunity they've had here. They've been doing a great job of turning chances into points, which is really uh, kind of what is the difference at these high level games. Lots of teams are able to come out and get good chances and get good opportunities, but if they can't capitalize on them, uh, that's gonna hurt them as instinct right there is they moved oh. in, they had space, but they lost it. Not for long though, Oculus Hater did a great job to steal it back, Ooh. looking for the shot that's gonna ding off the post and bounce out wide as it will be picked up by Zux and cleared out away as seven, looking for the counter attack. Yeah, they're looking for it, and they're going to get it. That's an open three, but they're also missing, but they'll take the two. Oh, my goodness. Seven up seven with uh, just under seven minutes in this first round remaining. As uh, This is a start that I certainly wasn't expecting offbeat. Yeah, no, definitely not. It's like the 90, like, I, <laughs> this is instinct. This, this name has been synonymous with, you know, just the absolute top tier of play at the master level here in NA. And even though, yes, it is a lot of different players on here, uh, obviously that name holds a lot of weight. And these are players that have played at the top level for a while here. Uh, definitely still looking like they're a little out of sorts. They've had a couple opportunities they've missed here. And like Seven has had open shots on the other end. Uh, uh -oh. There's a reset. Oh, a terrible miscommunication here. Can seven pick up on this again? They can send that lead to nine if they can be first to disc here. They are first looking for that slap. Not quite able to get the angle and it will be scooped up by a meatballer on the back end and they'll try to move it up, but actually gets stunned out. So Citizen's going to move it in here. They've got all four in and around the bubble. Oh. Finding up above, that's G Tyler. G Tyler looking for the shot. Not able to finish and it'll bounce out uh, where XA is going to apply some pressure. Yeah, a great pressure from XA and a rare mistake from Seven, but, you know, they're still in control. They are clumping up right now. Instinct looking to, uh, you know, put on the pressure, and they are making some missed passes there as it is going to get picked up now by Oculusator. Oculusator looking for a high clear. It's going to bounce really poorly, but the stack will still read, but the stack does break apart as that clear doesn't go quite across the arena like they planned it to as this disc will be free. It's gonna be a race for a GT Tyler gets their first no. It's gonna get slapped backwards. Picked up now by Oculusator. Under pressure, but misses the stack. One player caught back, goes for a side. Bit of a reset here. Instinct slowing it down, but quickly to Meatballer. Meatballer to the back of the net, and just like that, it's a five point game. Yeah, Meatballer with a great move to get around Desirable there and just open up that shot. Uh, goalie was kind of counting on Desirable, being able to, you know, slow him down and and, uh, you know, make the play there so the goalie could uh, be concerned with, you know, looking for those crossing passes. Wasn't expecting the shot to come out of there and definitely not that quick as uh, Instincts finally getting themselves back on the board here. Uh, cutting that lead to five, but still at this rate, they're going to have to start chaining a couple of them together. And this could be a chance as Cruzen is going to get that interception, clears it down for some teammates and Instinct get that stack together. Oculus Hater will get a couple stuns, but it's not enough. It will be picked up by Desirable. Desirable with some space here. And they're going to do a quick relay to get that disc all the way down into the instinct zone. Yeah, back into the instinct zone. And, well, 3.30 on the clock. The stack isn't together, though. So that is just going to be a turnover as the meatballer doesn't quite get a hand on it. That's not an open three, but there's no real good passing options. And that's still going to get intercepted by Citizen as that will get slapped back, but not through. G. Tyler picking up Ducks 1. Ducks 2? Yeah. Finding the pass and finding the save. What? No way. Cruising. Oh, my goodness. Standing on their head as that is going to get sent to the midfield. Meatballer now looking for the mail slot. Not going to find it, but he will find the bounce, but not going to get collected by their teammates. But there's going to be a pass to oh. the other team. Instinct diving in and not getting two. Try and try again. Yes, they do. Now it's a three-point game. Just under three remaining. Oh, a couple of wild turnovers in short succession there. A great job getting back on defense was seven, uh, but they weren't able to get the clear there, falling right into XA's hands. And that is not what you want to see if you're seven. You've you've worked hard. You're definitely coming into this game as the underdog. You've built up this lead, 
You got to see if they can hold it now, as I'm not at all surprised to see that they're slowing it down, trying to work with that lead, trying to use the clock to their advantage. And they are going to dump this one in. They've got a stack coming in, but no, on the back line is cruising, ready to slap that one back out. Uh, but Desirable oh. is there to read it. Oh, good oh. quick pass. But an even better save by Cruzen. Cruzen with a couple of huge saves. Keeping Instinct in it. And now it's cleared deep no back way. into the 7 zone. No way. It's coming in. It's Oculus Aider. No. Not able to finish that one. As it will get dumped out. As a Meatballer is going to lose it. Back the other way now. Comes Zux. Yeah, back the other way, but not back into the hands of Seven, as it is going to be Instinct getting there under two minutes now. Do they get a hand on this? No. They do need a three, and they need it now, but so does Seven! But no, just a little bit low, as Desirable looks for the cut. Not going to happen. Meatballer with the read, but that is going to get sent right to the hands. Back to Zux. Zux finds the high pass. Seven looking for points. Anything will do, and yes, that will. 11 to 6 now, and uh, that's looking a little bit sketchy for Instinct. Yeah, that one is ju just going to about do it unless Instinct can pull something together really quick here. It does look uh, like Seven will be taking this round unless we see something change drastically here. Uh, it's been incredibly dominant for four... Well, no, I won't say dominant, but they, they have been playing, I feel, to the peak of what they can, especially in the offensive zone. Like, the number of times they've come in and converted it to points, it it's been really remarkable to watch. They they've been doing an incredible job of converting those as Oculusator needs to make a quick stun there uh, to hold onto the disc and not lose it. Instinct's taking a lot of time here considering they've only got 50 seconds left on the clock and they do need those two scores. Cruzen's gonna get stunned out in here and every second that passes is another in second that Instinct doesn't have. They've oh. got the cross here, they've got the two. There's still time on the board as Cruzen is gonna put that one in and we've got ourselves a three point game with 33 seconds on the clock. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, this is how it works. 20 seconds, three points. Can they do it? Can they find OT? Well, let's find out. 25 seconds now. They can go for the self goal. They can go for the self goal to burn all the time, but they're not going to go for it. Do they get the read? No. 15 seconds now on the clock, all the way downfield. I've seen worse. I've seen stranger, but it's not going to be as it's going to be zero danger for seven as they do finish off this round with two more points just to lock it in. 13 to eight. What a round one. What a matchup. Wow, I didn't even think about that own goal option. That is that is a fun uh, <laughs> fun little tactic that I never thought of. Because you're right, if they put that in as an own goal for two, uh, then Instinct runs out of time. But as is, uh, as is a <clears throat> very, very good opening round here. 4-7, uh, pulling off that upset in the round one. And, you know, doing it in, good fa in incredible fashion. Citizen leading the way uh, with scoring there for seven with nine points on the board. Uh, and honestly, Instinct was kind of carry there on the back of cruising on their back line, making those four saves. And those were four big, big saves. Yeah, they really were. I mean, of course, we talk about how Instinct's changed, but it certainly isn't broken. Of course, cruising and Oculusator are the one and only uh, season four champions alongside Srembitsky and Ender, who now plays on Avant. So all the player swaps, all the changes... Uh, but, you know, certainly an exciting game. But as someone said earlier in chat, it's just round one. This is the warm-up round for these teams. Instinct wants to go the distance. They will go the distance, uh, especially with some amazing team play that they have been having. I mean, the shots taken are fairly close. I mean, the possession time's fairly close. Everything is so close between these two teams. It's just the finish. So let's see if Instinct can be nice, warm, and ready and take a round two victory or seven's gonna end it in two here we go offbeat take us in yeah would not at all be surprised here if we see instinct coming out of the tunnels with some ferocity and they do they get that opening joust lots of time no one coming to challenge oh. but they should see if they were gonna try for a three but hey the defense is coming in you got to make sure you get those points on the board and that is exactly exactly the start that instinct wanted as they grab that quick 2-0 lead yeah, that's a really strong start, and that's exactly, as you said, what Instinct wants. But that's exactly what Seven doesn't want. They just came off of a huge momentum boon in round one, and they want to keep it up. They want to keep up this game, and that's not what they want to keep up. That's a mistake, and that's going to get punished by Instinct, who immediately gets this under control. Oculusator sending it across now to Meatballer. Meatballer deep into the bubble. XA diving in, looking for two, and of course gets it off the backboard. 4-0 Instinct. Have something to prove. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very, very costly turnover on the side of seven. 
Uh, a mistake we haven't seen a ton of so far this round. I uh, wonder if they're feeling a little rattled after that quick uh, instinct start. But, you know, the sign of a great team is how quickly you collect yourselves and get yourselves back together. As uh, Zux now with the disc looking to prove that is going to find a teammate up above on Cloud. That is desirable. Uh, who's going to look to find a teammate in the tunnel, but that's another bad pass. Oh, G Tyler doing a great job to recover that one. As Seven now is going to look in a good reset while under pressure. And Zux is going to slow this one up now. He's going to look up above. Is going to find Sizen. Sizen with a great ender there. Is going to look down below. To the teammate, it's G Tyler. G Tyler moving in the entire uh, Instinct team in the goal, and they're not able to put it past all of them. It's gonna get slipped back out to Zux. Zux not wasting any time, though, putting that right back in. Oh. Moving in, it is gonna be stolen. XA with a great steal, and we'll get that one up out of harm's way. Here comes the counterattack from Instinct. The counterattack is already here. They want a three, but there's rotations back. Do they get a pass high? Jukes stolen. Desirable. Oh my goodness, but that bounce again off of the ceiling, not a clean clear, so it will be instant getting it back, and I mean, of course, in this master tier, you can't make a mistake. A mistake is immediately punished by any of these players who are all so beautifully cracked at this game. It's crazy. As uh, well, that's going to be a pass across high to Zuck. Zuck's looking for a reset. No, looking for a deep pass, but that it's going to get read by XA, who does get the clear downfield all the way through. It's a stack race, but it's going to get picked up by a blue Oculusator. Looking for the three! No! Oh. No, that could be bad, but they're gonna recover and dive in and get three anyway. Wow, oh. what a play! 7-0 instinct just uh, laughing. Oh, uh, that was all that was a very risky play. I they they took their time getting in. You know, I figured, okay, you're gonna walk it in because you see no one's coming to pressure you. But then they go back for the three after the slow walk, and it's like you're you're just tempting fate at this point. And uh, we're very fortunate to come out of that with a three, getting a good bounce off of their initial miss. And there's another turnover. Instinct oh. is going to get this one back. Oculus Hater not able to connect. Leaves it for the teammate there as XA is going to send this one across. But still with the disc now, three minutes gone. They're up 7-0 right now. And 7 really uh, hasn't had much going for them at all this round. It's really been all instinct here. We haven't even seen much time of possession in the way of seven as they're moving in now. Oculus Hater with a ton Ooh. of space. Goalie stunned. Oculus Hater is not going to miss those. No one in this game is. That is a 9-0 lead instinct. Uh, clearly, clearly feeling a little mad after that first round. Yeah, I mean, this is a very different pace to second round. And if anybody ever said instinct was a second round team, they needed round one to warm up. I mean, this is all you need to prove it. Now it's the two on one as, uh, well, they're going to get picked up. The fakes, the goal, they get it done. 11, oh, meatballer instinct looking strong. Looking strong indeed. Mo, thank you so much for the hydrate. We will absolutely take advantage of that. I will. Thank you. Yes, certainly. Um, mm. Wow. I mean, we knew instinct was going to come out strong in this round, right? We know their quality team made up of quality players, and we knew... They, they were just, you know, a little disconnected in that first round. But, I mean, this is ludicrous. XA with another steal. XA has been doing an incredible job of reading that disc, uh, predicting the passes, uh, getting those interceptions, getting those stuns and turnovers. And Oculus Hitter is just so oh. open there. Slips it past uh, Zux, and we're at 13-0 now. Not even halfway through this round. Wow. That's intense. <laughs> That's an intense. I mean, <laughs> like, man, I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. I mean, they're just instinct just putting on so much pressure, and Seven is just trying to find something, some semblance of momentum as Meatballer just pickpockets, finds the bounce, not on target, though. So that is still going to get picked up by you-know-who. Instinct, Oculusator in blue, goes to the quick reset. All the way back to Cruzen, and Cruzen's just going to slow this down, getting pressured by two players. Seven's overextending. That's a punishment. That's a net. That's a pass. Oh, but that's not a connection. So that is going to be a now mistake from Instinct, a rare mistake at that in the second round, uh, as it is just going to be a self-pass, uh, intention or otherwise, as it does get sent deep into the bubble. Looking across, looking for the cut. What a oh. save, though. G. Tyler keeping this game interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we've been seeing another clear attempt. They're going to try and see if they can fight this one in, but no, a good stack back from XA and Oculus Hater. 
is going to read that bounce perfectly and pick up the disc Ooh. here. Oh, good steal by Citizen. Maybe this is what they need. They, it, seven seem to ro thrive off of that momentum in that first round. It's really just a matter of getting that first one to open the floodgates. And this is potentially it. There we go. Finally getting on the board. Is going to be Citizen putting that one in. Uh, underneath the goal, perhaps taking a bit too long there was Oculus Aider, uh trying to uh, find a teammate for that one. Wasn't able to. And finally getting on the board. Maybe too little, too late, but it's something. Seven has has something. Yeah, they certainly have something. And, uh, well, at least he gives them some time, some space to breathe a little more. But, I mean, instinct is just everywhere they need to be as uh, Cruzen moves that disc down low, open net. But not going to be connecting because it's going to connect with the head and not with the back of the net of that open three. So it is going to be picked up now. G Tyler, G Tyler, open three now. Ooh. Half court off the shield, unfortunately. But Instinct panicking. So that is going to get picked up by Zux, who will happily recollect. Sends it over to Desirable. Desirable sees the pass high, sees the pass low. Decides to go low. Connecting to Citizen. Citizen diving in gets two more. Just like that. Four on the board. Seven's here. Yeah, yep. uh, like we were saying, as soon as that first one's come, I was fully, fully expecting uh, the floodgates to start opening as that they, they do collect themselves again. Another two. Those passes looking a lot more crisp. They're bouncing around a lot better. It's just, it's all in the mind for these guys, right? As soon as they've got that right mindset of, okay, we've got something where it, it you know, it's going well. We can, we can start to get this going and they have some of that self-confidence suddenly that's turning into points. And Instinct now is very wisely, they're gonna slow it down. They're gonna try and kind of starve Seven out of that momentum they have uh, to see if they can force them to make a mistake. And they are going to. Meatballer, with a lot of space, is gonna put that one into the goal, past the goalie, and uh, bump that lead back to 11. Yeah, I mean, it seriously is just a masterclass. I mean, I know it's master tier, maybe there's a pun there, haha. But like, Instinct is just having such dynamic control right now. Like, take notes, folks. They're sending it back. They're drawing one the one offender out or defender out. They're finding the extra man. They're saying spread. They're trusting each other. And they're just scoring these beautiful passing plays simply because they have numbers advantage. Basic math. Four is greater than three. And, well, that Ooh. save will stop that three. Cruisin's there. Uh, but it wasn't meant to be as the clear doesn't quite go through as it is going to get sent right back. And now it's seven with the numbers advantage. Diving in and getting two. There we go. 6-15, nine-point lead. Instinct. Yeah, Desirable is providing an ongoing threat behind the goal. You can see it every single time uh, that seven looks to move in. You've got, you know, you've got Desirable right there hanging around the goalie looking for the sun. That goalie has got to keep their hands up constantly. And even when, you know, if Desirable's not able to get the stun, those hands up uh, means you're not able to react to those shots. And, you know, that's how goals Ooh. get scored. Back the other way, Desirable with a great save to kind of keep things alive. Down by nine, it might be too little too late. XA is going to hold that one, though. And they're going to look to see if they can move this one in. Meatballer now up across. They're going to reset that one back. And that'll be cruising on the back line. Yeah, cruising on the back line, looking for a good time. Diving in to Meatballer. Oh, boy, some jukes. But off the head. And we'll get to... Uh, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. 30 seconds left. I mean, this has been a heck of a round. You know, maybe a little bit poopy dukes for seven. But, hey, you know what? We all get there sometimes because the prowess of instinct is just absolutely insane. But we still have 20 more seconds. Can they score twos? Can they score three more? Let's find out as Zux picks it up, looks for the clear. And in fact, it's a quick pass. That's an open three. No, not so open at all because Cruzen's back there looking for the pass. Bad pass, though, so instinct will get the read and will send that right back the other way. Yeah, send it back the other way, and that is going to do it as the last couple seconds tick down. We are going to be going to round three here with instinct taking that one 17 to 6 uh much more <laughs> much more decisive victory than we saw in round one when seven ended up taking it but hey i think uh seven was playing a lot better those last couple of minutes i i think they should feel pretty decent as long as they get themselves off to a good start and don't get in their own heads i would not at all be shocked if we see a, a very close round three here yeah, I, I really do. I, I really expect these to win one of those classic games of Echo Arena. If you're unfamiliar, the way it goes is round one, well in favor of team one. Round two, well in favor of team two. And round three, maybe even OT. Just maybe. a classic game. Maybe not. 
but it certainly seems like it might be lending itself to be that. Of course, some insane performances. Meatballer with 10 points, Oculusator with 9, Citizen on the side of 7 with 15 points to their name, and of course, those 6 monstrous saves from Cruisin'. It's just incredible. Incredible. Just watch Cruisin, man. He's crazy. Yeah. Like, like, and it's so demoralizing for a team, right? If you've done all the hard work of moving it up or getting the stun, you know, everything it's taken to move the disc up the up the arena and get into that scoring position, just to have some cruising guy on that back line, just always there trying to ruin your day. It can be real demoralizing, especially if the goalie gets on a hot streak. But enough of that. We're here, we're back, we're underway, they're out of the tubes, and it is gonna be seven getting the head on that one first. Let's see if they can grab that early lead. They did great when they did it before. They've got Zucks on the on the shield, and that's two points as seven. Uh, looking to see what if they can do what they did in the first round. Scoring first, let's see if they can extend it now. Yeah, let's see if they can. I mean, it is worth noting as well that each team, so seven in round one had more possession time, barely, by like 30 seconds, had more shots taken, more stuns round two possession time shots taken and stuns were Ooh. in favor of instincts so i mean that seems to be the trifecta for uh, who wins this game and by more i mean like two or three more i don't mean like a ton so this game is close and well there's a close three Ooh. but not quite in it wasn't meant to be as it is going to get sent back the other way zucks all the way downfield with the clear no one reads it though because it's a really erratic bounce uh, it does get picked up now by Desirable off the ceiling to G. Tyler. G. Tyler Jukes cuts. No, just gate to two. 4 0. -oh, seven's up. Yeah. Wow. Incredible job there. As, uh, you know, the, they are riding that momentum, right? If you are a team that is going to go all in on momentum, right? <clears throat> if you're going to win, if you're going to live by it and die by it, you know, getting that first point was critical, and you got to ride this out as long as you can. I would not be at all surprised to see if we see a bit of ongoing pressure here from Seven uh, as soon as they hit that midpoint here to see if they can force some more mistakes and kind of, you know, while things are going well, uh, try and stretch that out and make it last as long as possible. And Instinct on the other side is going to try and slow it down as Cruzen and XA are both on the back line there, taking their time trying to goad out the defense to see if they can open up a nice uh, soft pass underneath here. And now they do have some space. They are going to move in. It's up high to Meatballer. Meatballer going to make a good move oh. on the ceiling, but not good enough. Desirable makes the save, but it's stolen back. And Meatballer is going to put that one in. They thought they were out of trouble, but just like that, Meatballer says, thank you very much. Gets the steal, gets the goal. We have a two-point game. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do have a two-point game, and... You know, I'm not going to not gonna call it yet, but this could be a very back and forth one. As uh, Seven still up by two, Instinct pressuring, not going to find it. It is going to find the pass over to Citizen. Citizen finds the cross pass, but only finds the angle, not connecting. As Instinct turns this one around, looking for a three. It's not open, though. Under pressure is Meatballer, who finally gets the pass off. A quick passing play. Now back to Oculusator, who finds some space, finds the low cut. It's going to be Meatballer under pressure again. Another reset. Look how many resets there are, guys. There's like four resets in like 30 seconds. Reset! Take a note! I'm, I'm mostly saying this to myself, but hey, you can <laughs> take notes too. Uh, <laughs> as it is going to be cruising. Moving on up, finding Bo, finding some space. He has three open passing lanes right now. Alex to take the left side, diving in. Oh, Woo! but the save! Desirable! Insane! As Seven gets the clear. Yeah, they've got the clear, and now they've got all the way down, and they've got a player already down there waiting by the bubble. That's G Tyler. G Tyler trying to put that in quick, but <laughs> who else? It's going to be cruising, getting the save there, and it's up to Oculus Hater. Back the other way. Here comes Instinct. They've got the stack. They've got the time. They'll just float that one in. XA is going to put that one in with a little eight meters per second floater. We got ourselves a tie game. Man. That is a huge swing. If they could have put that one in, they would have been up six, but rather back the other way. We've got a tie game. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We have a tie game. Here we go. Round three. Winner takes all. Eight. Six minutes left. Oh, my. Oh, my. As seven is going to move flying high down the field. Not going to get catched up yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Desirable. That's a mistake you don't want to make because that's going to be undesirably bouncing right 
into, oh, almost the back of the net. As it is going to be G Tyler picking it up, looking for the clear. Is going to find the bounce that is going to go in their favor. Seven, though, no stacks. So it is going to get picked up by Instinct. Instinct immediately under pressure, sends it high, and that's going to get turned over. G Tyler in control. High pass. Desirable. Cutting back. Shot. Oh. oh. Seven with six up two. Yeah, in some good disc movement there. They they weren't first on the disc, but they came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of players on it, and they forced a bad pass, right? They forced a turnover, and then with a couple good quick passes, they were able to turn that turnover into points uh, before the defense could really get stabilized. Uh, some nice give and go passing there. Um, and just like that, they've got themselves a lead back and another turnover here. Citizen applying some good pressure is going to get that disc. Oh, looking for the bounce oh. pass. Oh, it's stolen by Zucks. Cruz instead oh. of no. Oculusator getting back just in time to snag that one off the line. We hit the midway point, Mark. We hit the midway point here. And it is anyone's game. Turnovers back and forth. Both teams vying for that disc. Oculusator is trying to slow it up here. But how can you slow it up when you've got Cruzen wide open there? Cruzen holds onto it for just long enough to let the rest of the team float in. And Meatballer now. He's going to send it down. Cruzen cruising up across to Oculusator. They're moving in before the defense can get back. It's behind the goal. And that is a dunk for XA. We're tied again. No way. What a series of events from Instinct. The clutch save. The counterattack and the stack pressure, the passing pressure, and the tie game pressure. Oh my goodness, Instinct is on a level right now. They're in another gear, and so is Seven. And well, tie game, four minutes left. It's effectively a new game as Seven gets this disc under control, finds the reset here. Still under tremendous pressure from Instinct as Instinct finally gets a hand on this disc, but they slap it. They rush that pass. It's an open three, though, and well... Oh, they do miss those as it's going to ding off the <laughs> ring and well sends back through but not quite all the way as it will get picked up by orange not blue immediately but now oculator back in control i could tell how excited oh. you were to throw out the they don't miss those only for it to, <laughs> uh, to fall apart uh, you, you, the bated breath was all there Oculusator doing a good job to reach and throw that one out of harm's way, but gets an unlucky bounce, or rather a desirable bounce for, for Seven as it gets into the hands of Desirable. They've got a couple players around here. They've stabilized. They've got an opening, and oh, what a shot from a tough angle. That's a 72 and a half degree angle, and just like that, Seven's retaking the lead. How long will this one last, do we think? <laughs> I mean, if you look at this scoreboard, you see Meatballer score. Then XA score, then Citizen score, then G Tyler score. It's just a back and forth bonanza. As uh, well, three minutes left. That's not quite an open three, and Seven knows that they find one more pass. Citizen under pressure gets oh. the ender on the backboard. Oh, but the deny from Meatballer is gonna send that one low, but not quite through mid, as it will get picked up by Desirable, who just absolutely slows this play down. Yeah, Desirable with a very good read there. It had a couple of awkward bounces that could have been problematic. G Tyler with a move to get away from Oculusator. Gets it up to oh. Citizen. Wow! A couple of great deeks there without even getting a stun. It wasn't just, you know, an ender where you throw your shield up real quick. Those were some solid jukes. And it's been a while since we've seen this this round. But that is a two-score lead now of 10 to 6 with just over two minutes left on the clock. Yeah, I mean, this is why these players are master tier. They are just next level as uh, a, <laughs> what a move from the side of seven. But instinct, two minutes left, four points. No problem. Two twos, two threes, one two, one three, doesn't matter. They got this. They want OT. Well, they don't want OT. I want OT. And well, let's see as instinct's going to find a low bounce. It will end up connecting uh, with Cruz. And let's definitely call it an intentional pass. And that definitely is an intentional reset. XA now in control, floating. Taking the space, moving on up. Moving on up is the disc, though. Diving in. Spinning, spinning. Oh, but stolen by Zox. As XA puts some pressure on, finds the pass to G. Tyler. G. Tyler sending that one all the way downfield. It's going to be a high bounce and not quite in, but very, very, very close. As it is going to get picked up by Instinct. And four points, 60 seconds. Oh, and that's a solid steal by Citizen. If I'm if I'm seven right now, I'm looking. We got to use that clock. Only a minute left, and F left on the clock. Slow this down. Get some good passes. Only score when you're good and ready. But G Tyler says, no, thank you with the oh. juice. Oh, my goodness. Cruising. 
holds that off and desirable now with the disc underneath they don't have a reset option back they're all in the bubble and this could be costly if a stack starts coming out the other way oh but zux with the leech grabs onto that stack from instinct and is able to get back to slow that went up 45 on the clock now instinct oh. still needs two scores and they're not gonna get him with that desirable with the steal with the pass oh. g tyler misses another attempt cruising on that but time is running out almost barely 30 seconds left on the clock there still is time though there still is time can they get the disc they need a pressure and get a three like literally now literally now oh my goodness instinct trying to do everything they can but seven is going to take this game with one more shot no not gonna connect but oh my goodness round one round two round three i said it would be a nail biter but oh my goodness a male to end it maybe not unfortunately as instinct g Freaking G, because Seven just played out of their minds and definitely earned that victory. What a way to get your first win of the season, your first win in Master. Incredible, exciting performance from Seven here. They they had us they had us going in the second round, not gonna lie, but they they pulled it back in round three, riding that momentum. An incredible, incredible back and forth third round. And hey, uh, getting that two score lead uh, ended up being critical as that was really what helped them uh, drive through the last couple rounds because Instinct needs to start taking risks, needed to look for those clear, those dump and chases to score quick. And it, when it didn't happen, they, they didn't get anything because they had to take those risks for the big quick play. And when it didn't happen, the easy turnover, you get possession back and you run out the clock. Exceptional yeah, job it. from Seven absolutely exceptional job and exceptional thank you uh to our next team who is still in still in chat so hello thanks for hanging out with us but seriously thank you for waiting for us uh, so we will be right back with one more match tonight it will be the underground nation against of course the one and only carlos don't go away
live, and we're back, and we're here. It's a good time. It's a good time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us here on Channel One. You are all amazing people, and these players in the arena are the most amazing people because they did not have to wait for us. They did not have to wait for the stream, and they waited 23 minutes after their scheduled start time for us. So much love to them. Also, much love to you, Wonder Team Man on the cams, offbeat. Kasten next to me, I'm the one you see. And uh, you're the man, by the way, or woman, or somewhere in between, Splice Knight. Thank you for the tier one sub, I appreciate you. And also, thank you for the hydrate. I am so awesome. You are so awesome because you are saving my throat. Yeah, mine as well. I, I was able to take that one before the break. It was very much needed after that, uh, after that uh, exciting finish to that round, uh, to that game. Really, really a uh, great game was super pumped to have cast that one and I'm, we've got another one here which i'm why why would it not be just as good uh we got ourselves a good evening here it's it, we're gonna have a lot of fun we got carlos we got underground nation uh two teams in and run that round that gold silver level and they've been waiting for long enough gold They're plat ready to level. Go. sir sir level. excuse me they're both you gray. Not know how to look they're both gray <laughs> <laughs> That is very distinct. That's fine. We'll ignore that one. Here we go. We're in the action. Underground Nation <laughs> is in blue. Carlos is in orange. And Carlos, oh, not quite fine in that pass. But uh, hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good time. I love you, Luke. I love you, Luke. I love you, Phenom. Thank you for loving me. We should be get married, okay? Thank you. Um, so see you at our wedding next week, all right? Hopefully hopefully you'll, you won't skip me this time because you stood me up last time very sad but what's not sad is that clear as it is going to be underground nation get in there first and get in their first points in this game 2-0 30 seconds in yeah a nice quick start for underground nation we saw last game the quick start really was kind of the big defining factor uh very interested to see if that continues through into this game but yeah uh underground nation getting pretty much exactly what they needed there a nice quick start and now uh the onus is on uh, Carlos to respond and let's see how they do here. They've got the first couple of passes not under a ton of pressure Here comes that pressure in the first place and it does force a bad pass Let's see if they can get here on the counter attack. Oh, it's gonna float just out of reach And so it's gonna be picked up by faults faults though is gonna fall uh, To that back stack Artemis is gonna take that disc back and will eventually be popped out by Bob Kerman Yeah, it is gonna get eventually picked up and uh Woo -hoo -hoo! Snaked through by JB. Just better, apparently. Uh, as uh, that is going to get sent to the near side wall. Going to get collected by JB again. Looking for the reverse boop shot. Not going to happen. Instead, it will get picked up by Carlos. Well, it's actually going to get picked up by Artemis, not Carlos. But I guess Carlos always picks it up because Carlos is everywhere. Then now you know. Carlos, Carlos is, uh, Carlos is everything. As Optimistic is going to come in here and wow. Uh, just tucking that three, there's a goalie in. You don't often see uh, the uncontested goal three on a goalie, but a great shot, putting it just, just out of reach. And uh, we've got a 5-0 lead now, as is the Underground Nation up to that. Uh, they, they got those first points, and they prevented a counterattack, and they've just extended that lead uh, now to definitive five. Yeah, they did. Strong start right now from Underground Nation. Of course, they are the fan favorite. 98% of you. There's eight, there's more channel points in this match than the master one. You guys have confidence and well, 7-0. Uh, maybe it's working out in your favor, but we saw this before in the previous match. Seven was uh, up and then down and then instinct was up and then down. So hey, it can go either way. This is just one round. It's a three round game. And hey, 720 remaining, uh, but here we go. Well, you've got that insider trading information. You should absolutely use it to get your to to, to redeem your points. And uh, Ilmi in the chat is saying, "Yeah, just gonna work my way up to a hold on, hold on, work my on, way on. up to a cast with gambling." Yes. <laughs> op optimistic moving in is gonna get stunned up by that stack coming back, but faults gets the perfect bounce there and is able to clean that up. That's a 9-0 lead. That's a strong lead uh, from the underground nation. But hello, too fast. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I hope you are doing well. Thanks for hanging out here with us. Uh, but how do you get your match casted? Green toe player. This is how. Very simple. Guaranteed cast is 15,000 channel points. But the very much cheaper way and honestly easier way is you just have to get some hype votes. 
So, assuming that we're free, that is obviously the uh, limitation there, that, you know, the casters and the production team is available. Um, but you just have to be have the most uh, hype votes out of any team at a given time point. So right now, we casted this match at 15 hype votes, which was more than anyone else. And so this team, these two teams were casted um, as opposed to um, anyone else. So just use the hype vote system. Um, yeah, and do not use alt accounts or anything like that um, because we are aware of stuff like that and will not cast your match. Similarly, if you always have really high hype votes and we end up casting you you know, a few times, uh, we will deprioritize you even if you have more because we want to make sure we spread the love. Um, so that's kind of how it works. Um, or you can get into Master Tier, and then we'll cast as many as we can. But there we go. Two on the board. They're here. It's Carlos. Yeah. Uh, Carlos getting on the board for the first time kind of critically. They, they've they been bouncing around trying to get a quick break, and finally there they get one in. And uh, make no mistake, finally taking advantage of that opportunity when they have it. And one other pro tip I will suggest for getting cast, in my experience, is when you're scheduling your games, uh... Look at when the master teams are scheduling, when there's a ton of other games going on, and uh, don't schedule for those. For example, I love casting my Saturday and Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. So if you can get your entire team <laughs> and the other entire team up at 8 a.m., I will be there for you. I won't, like, 100% guarantee, but, like, 90% guarantee you it, cast. It's funny because it's actually true. It's actually it really true. is. <laughs> I so, was, I was, there was but, one game for me to cast at 8 a.m. this morning, but... It turned out it was just a poorly. A oh, never what mind. Forget all that. We have to talk about faults because there were no faults in that shot there. That, that was incredible. Wait, why did I? I'm so sorry, Fats Jurek. I didn't mean to ban you. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't even know how I clicked that. <laughs> I unbanned you now. Apologies. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Underground's good. Uh, bring the link back so you can link your you can you can link your account, can't you? <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. I think it's because I clicked anyway. Whatever. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say y'all are <laughs> awesome. And uh, well, so is that play, but not gonna find the back of the net that time, uh, as it is going to <laughs> you just, you just cry just for writing sat yeah you can't write saturday if you write saturday you get banned no i'm kidding <laughs> i mean although that's what happened uh i, I really uh, apologies anyway it is gonna get reset now back over to jb jb slowing it down i mean they're up by 10 points they can chill all day under pressure fine on the high pass is it gonna connect to faults yes faults no fault of their own just diving in on the backboard getting to more 14 to 2 yeah, 14-2, to two, uh, extending that lead, doing a good job showing, you know, first couple of points weren't a fluke. They are going to keep this running. Uh, Faults really has been doing an incredible job here. Faults with nine of the 14 points so far. Uh, so, you know, uh, great job kind of there. With The team has kind of been working to set up Faults, honestly. Faults has been put in a good position to put a lot of these in and has been capitalizing. Uh, right now, though, uh, with possession, with a chance, they're looking for that long one that stunned is going to come in from the teammate that's Artemis behind the goal, but that's not enough because the entire Underground Nation team was back, floating around the goal. They're ready to pick that up, but still keeping the pressure here. It is Carlos with another chance. A couple good passes, but Faults! Faults does the shooting. Faults does the saving. Faults everywhere you look. There are just Faults. But they're, they're fine with that, because that is uh, keeping up this little dominant performance here. Carlos, uh, they have the disc again. Uh, they're going to see if they can finally get one past Faults. It is Bob Kerman with the disc. Has an open target on the shield, but isn't able to connect. Artemis gets a good bounce, though, and is able to find Bob Kerman back across. There's an open pass, and moving in. No! Not going to get that one by Faults again. That's going to ding. Just have to try it again, won't they? They will certainly have to try again. Uh, and, uh, well, they shall try again and try and try. They shall succeed. 10-point game again, 2.15 on the clock. It's possible. Oh, absolutely possible. Uh, not likely. They're, they're definitely going to have to up their game if they want to do that, right? Uh, they, they have been doing better, right? We, we've absolutely seen in the last couple of months they've been doing better. They've been controlling the disc. They've been getting some good passes, and they've started to capitalize, right? Um, and, you know, if they can keep that up and they keep moving in the right direction... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see them, you know, looking a bit more competitive in that second round here. Uh, time to see how they can do on defense, though. That's a good start, as it is going to be knocked out of the hands. They're going to slow down that attack, but a good job by Faults. Faults backing up here, flipping onto the ceiling. Is going to find just better on the back line. Looking, trying to find the pass. Has a teammate up above. That's Faults. Oh, oh. Faults. 
Faults, what are you doing? Faults just can't be stopped. A great little bounce pass off the back and extends that lead to 12 points now. Wow. 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 I mean, just a strong showing right now from Underground Nation. But, I mean, Carlos, honestly, a really good defense. If you look at, you know, the difference, the changes in between these, uh, you know, points getting scored either way, you know, Carlos is finding success here as they found some space. Unfortunately, not feeling confident enough to go for that very tough three. But they are going to find the one-on-one, -on -one, two on one and yes, sirree, they get two, they get it done. And Carlos, maybe not winning round one, but maybe some momentum going into round two offbeat. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's not a single player doing it. Like, the team has really been coming together. Uh, Carlos now, the, uh, Bob Kerman, Mufin, Versal, all uh, with two of their team's points. Three different players, each with a save. Everyone's putting in work everywhere. And it looks like Faults is just l looking and is perfectly happy uh, to run off the rest of the time here with that 10-point lead. Is going to play it safe. And it looks like the entire team is going to stay back. They're going to bounce it back and forth. Finally, Bob Kerman is going to come here to try and apply a little more pressure. Uh, but Logic is going to look and try and take a three here. Is going to get bounced. Good defensive play by Artemis. And we'll count off those remaining seconds. Versal with it is going to try and get it clear. Gets it up to Mufin. One last shot. Might be a little too late, but was it on target? No, it wasn't on target either. But that's okay. 16-6 is your final for Underground Nation in round one. Uh, in a game that was... Uh, if you're Underground Nation, you're very happy with that performance. Yeah, and if you are the people who are putting up, seemingly, their entire bags uh, of points, you are also very happy from that round one. But Carlos, <laughs> and specifically, who was it? Who had the who put the 300 points in out of the 340 who's going to win 16K? <laughs> you're maybe less happy. Uh, but uh, hey, the risk reward is pretty good. But uh, yeah, I mean, an absolutely incredible performance from Underground Nation. But I mean, Carlos... Some fantastic, fantastic playing as well. This is part of the early season, right? You know, part of the early season, everyone's trying to figure out their stride, figure out where they go, you know, and there are some more, you know, tougher teams or easier teams that you play against, but that's just part of the beginning. That's just part of the VRML, uh, you know, as it is right now. But huge, huge, huge set of defaults with 11 points. Absolutely crushing it. Absolutely incredible performance. But I want to shout out the entire team of Carlos. Every single person has some sort of point on the board and that means that they're working as a team man artemis is the goalie so i'm giving him some i'm giving him some slack and they have way more stuns as well so compared to everyone else so like some solid team play from carlos really good stuff underground nation of course an established team over the last couple years um so you know you expect higher things from them and they certainly have been delivering but round two it's a new round, it's a new me, it's a new you, but it's a not a new disc, as it is going to get picked up but stolen by Underground Nation. Yeah, Underground Nation with the disc now. That is going to be optimistic with some space, with some time, making a good move, looking for the teammate below, but no, Versal is going to read that and get that one cleared. Uh, I did find my way to the Carlos page on the website, and I have to say, uh, Carlos has some incredible, incredible team art. So a uh, huge shout out to whatever artist they obviously commissioned. For all those pieces, it's um, it's uh, some great uh, profile pics. Would definitely recommend reaching out to them if you need anything. But yeah, it's fantastic. Back to the game. I, I presume <laughs> I think the artist is named Carlos. I mean, it couldn't be anything else, right? You want your name attached to that artwork. As here, the here they're coming back, the entire Underground Nation team falling back on defense. But is that enough to get past Bob Kerman, who's gonna steal that disc back? And uh, looking for that reset, but isn't going to find it. Logic oh. is looking. Logic nearly putting that one in from range. Uh, as is. It's not going to fall in, but it will still be picked up. And they're going to reset this one back and set up another attack. They are going to set up another attack now as they do find the low pass. Connecting to Logic. Logic looking for the backboard pass. No good. As it is going to send back. Now to Faults. Faults the break check. As uh, that is going to send that across to JB. JB. Trying to find the connection. Not going to be there immediately. But the outlet pass is not so outlet as that's going to be a turnover. Recovered now again by Logic. Still no points on the board. A minute and a half in. That might change. But the hook was definitely a hook as it's not going to find the back of the net. But the bounce shot will. And just like that, Faults to no fault of their own. Finding the first two. Yeah, Faults has definitely been putting in work this offseason. Working on those bounce shots. There have been a couple of really good angles uh, from that ceiling where those bounce shots have really just been on point. Uh, the goalie 
uh, from Carlos really has uh, not been able to react to those and to find those angles in time. And, uh, you know, if you if sometimes you have to find a goalie's weakness, if you find, you know, a shot type that's working, uh, you you exploit that, right? You you try and put yourself in a position to, to take advantage of that. And, you know, if you're a goalie and you find that sort of thing happening, you got to get the rest of your team to kind of adapt and, and uh, play around that. As uh, here is another steal, if they're going to bounce that in, is uh, Team Underground, and they're they're not going to be able to... They're not doing it quick, but they're they're definitely doing it efficiently as well. A quick behind-the-back shot, the hubris <laughs> to take that shot. Uh, it will get picked up by Virgil and will be cleared all the way down uh, where it will be picked up by that backstack for Blue. It will get picked up, and, well, it's going to get sent through to Optimistic. Optimistic looking for those clips, but not going to find it immediately, as it's going to be Logic. Finds the bottom pocket. Oh, my. As it's four on the board for Underground Nation. Yeah, a nice quick attack there as uh, Carlos gets destroyed by a pass to Logic. That was, that was, that was, that was a bit of a stretch. I apologize. I apologize for that one. Um, <laughs> it took me I like was... 10 seconds, but I got there. <laughs> it's a thinker. It's a thinker. <laughs> As uh, Versal is going to find Bob Kermit in the tunnel. They're going to move this one up a couple of good passes. Uh, as they've got themselves in some space here, they just got to get, you know, that one critical pass to goalie. Logic getting back with a stun on Mufin. Uh, but Mufin now kind of opening up an O, oh, finding Mufin, but not uh, getting that pass on target. As uh, some pressure here as they're trying to see if they can get their first points on the round. A good turnover there as it is going to be Artemis moving in. Has Bob Kerman, but they don't have a teammate in the bubble. Looking for that one last pass. There it is. Artemis moving in. Oh. No. False says no. Well, so does... Well, actually, Faults again. Oh. <laughs> who also gets the steal. Faults is everywhere. And uh, Faults... We'll get the goal! It's a... It's a... Oh, man. Someone told me what this is called. I forget. But there's a certain word if someone could tell me, I'd be forever grateful. When you can get a save, and then you go down and you score. It's like a thing in, like, another sport. Oh, man. It's going to bug me forever. <laughs> but they got it! That's incredible. What a play from Faults. Uh, of course, fantastic stacks, fantastic chemistry um, from... Uh, from from the team as uh, there was a very understandable pause because six points, plenty of time, you know? I mean, Optimistic still needs some clips for TikTok because, of course, Optimistic is a huge W TikToker. You know, everyone needs to get their Spark ready. They need to make sure they're recording some stats, you know? And if you haven't downloaded Spark, you got to do that because Spark Mini now works for your Oculus Quest. You can get spark links. You can look at your stats. You can tell you how fast, how slow, how good, how bad you're playing. It's incredible. Honestly, it's such a versatile program, and you can now use it off your phone and with your headset as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. So make sure you do uh, check it out. A fast break? Maybe. That might be it, Lemmy. I don't, I, I, it might be that. It doesn't ring any bells, though. But anyway, regardless, it was absolutely incredible. What's it called? Yeah, I wish I knew what it was called. Wanda Sparking. That's literally what I'm thinking in my head right now. The only the I'm only talking. thing that's coming to mind right now is uh, the Gordy Howe hot hat trick from those of you who follow hockey, which is when you mm. get yourself a goal and assist, and you get in a fight all in the same game. But that's probably not what we're looking for here. Yo, <laughs> Pyro Games. How is the night shift? You vibing? You vibing at 4 a.m.? I hope so. Hope you're vibing at 4 a.m. If you're not vibing, then I don't know what you're doing, but uh, I. <laughs> but, but those are your two options: them. you're vibing or you're not. Yeah, that's it. That's how life works. Always vibing. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! There we go. Glad to hear you're doing well. Thank you for the hydrate leg root. I appreciate you. I will drink to that. <laughs> uh, I mean, on my end, I'm always drinking water yeah. during my oh, cast <laughs> <laughs> no you have to give a better bigger pause during uh, during my cast i'm always drinking yeah my comedy timing's off it's been been too long of an off season i've been solo casting too much that's my problem no one else wants to get up at 8 a.m to cast with me yeah uh, <laughs> well honestly i'll do it i'll do it I'm, i know wonder will do it sometimes uh spark is an app so spark is an app so if you're on if, if you're on you're <laughs> you're right it is 6 a.m actually no it's 
It's uh, it's uh, it's even earlier. It's five a.m. If well, actually, are you Central offbeat? I'm Central, yeah. Okay, that's why. That's why. Um, but yeah, Spark is an app. Spark Mini. Look it up on the App Store. Um, and uh, if you're not part of the Spark Discord, is already already join them and download the app. It's so amazing. You can edit your private arena rules within it. Uh, you can you know play music through the arena through it. I don't know if that's on Spark Mini, but you can do it with Spark. Um, you know, there's all sorts of fun stuff. You can see info, player cards. You can see events. You can see everything you need um, that you would ever need to see out of Echo. All the stats that you wish you had are part of Spark. But the Spark has come. The Spark has come to Carlos, just like their inspired art. Just like that clear, unfortunately. Not going to be there. But it will get picked up uh, by the one and only, as that is going to get off the backboard. And Logic is going to logically put in two more. 8-0. Underground Nation. Yeah, they they did some tech stuff. It looks like they brought in they they switched up the roster, bringing in uh, bringing in Fatal Dummy uh, to kind of come in and see if they can provide uh, that spark that they need here. Uh, not so hot right off the bat, but hey, lots of time uh, for that turnaround. We are halfway through the round here. Eight zero score. Bob Kerman is gonna get rid of that. Fires a laser Ooh. pass over to Versal. And they've got some space here as Versal's gonna move in, find a teammate on the ceiling. That's Mufin. Mufin with some space. Oh, good pass behind the goal. Goalie is stunned. Bob Kerman's gonna put that one in. Hey, don't go anywhere because Carlos has found the board thanks to Bob Kerman. Yeah, I mean, the, the swaps definitely worked out in Pyro Games. Well, maybe it wasn't the immediate after the pause they were looking for. Of course, you know, after a pause, uh, especially when you pause, you want to make sure that you get the first points, but that counterattack looked very spicy as uh, they're going to get some pressure on. And uh, that pass is a mistake. And that's a mistake that they can't make because guess who's there? It's Carlos. Remember, Carlos is everywhere. Don't forget that. Carlos is everywhere. As, uh, well, that is going to be an underground nation pass and clear all the way downfield. And that's just going to bounce around. But Carlos, again, is everywhere and finds the counterattack. Carlos surrounds us. It envelops us. Carlos uh, is, us. Car is us. We are Carlos. <laughs> We're all Carlos oh, on this Carlos! day. Bob Kerman is Carlos, and he, they know it for a fact. Oh, what a delightful, delightful little three bouncer off the backboard there. We got ourselves a one score game. 330 left on the clock. That's a three point difference. We got oh. oh, and there's the timeout. Now, now it's the Underground Nation timeout. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Too fast. It feels great to be me, by the way. I know you've asked me like four times tonight. I appreciate <laughs> you asking. But due to your persistence, I will answer your question. Honestly, I love life, man. It is so great. I am so happy to be here. Casting is so much fun. If you don't cast, you should. Seriously. It's so fun. Um, so, uh, do it. Apply. Apply. What's my favorite thing about me? And thank you, Wonder, for continuing this line of questioning. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing about me is, uh, I, uh, I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, um, I, I love, I like my, I like my hair. How about that? I, I don't really care about my hair, but whatever. I love, uh, yeah, that's my favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care about it, but it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite uh, thing. My favorite like thing is Carlos. Stars. No, not gonna find it. Uh, false. Of course, it's false. If anyone was gonna stop this onslaught by Carlos, it would be false, who has been having an onslaught of their own uh, here tonight. Optimistic is gonna get that one cleared in. Logic picking that one up. Logic's gonna <laughs> lose it though, because here's Bob Kerman, and Bob Kerman has been having around. Oh, not looking, looking to get that bouncing into the zone. But a very good read from that back stack. It is going to be JB just better with the steal. And is going to send that one back to Faults. And Faults is going to make a nice little move around the stack. Get it cleared up to a teammate. Logic is going to dump that one into the Carlos zone. Yeah, dumping it in. And Carlos is there. Mufin is Carlos. But Mufin will send it to Faults. And uh, that may have been a fault of their own as they just panicked, cleared that disc. So Carlos will have another opportunity. Now they get the clear. Is the stack there? Well, maybe. They do break apart, but they do get pressure on, and that 
clear is not quite through, so Carlos may get there. Versal, under pressure, goes for the reset. Everyone's clumping together. It's a pass back off the wall. It will connect. Under pressure again, jumping low, finding the cut. A pass back, very quick slap. Looking for the pass across, diving in. Now it's going to be Bob Kernan. Bob Kernan back to Versal. Versal back to Bob. Bob looking for the cut. It's good. It's a save. Insane. False does it all. It's denying it. Still a three-point game as Underground Nation goes to the counterattack. Yeah, going in quick. They they picked that one up with the stack and they try to dump it in, but with because of that bounce, uh, Mufin's actually able to get to this one and not well not able to get the clear, but at least able to get possession back. Minute 30 left on the clock, still time for a three. A bit uh -oh. of a wild bounce. Oh, gonna uh -oh. get a lucky bounce off of that nest, which means they will get possession. Oh, looking for that bounce pass off of the wall isn't gonna connect, but who's there? Where is the rest of your team? Where is Carlos? We're so used to them being everywhere. But somehow, uh, they've got themselves the disc. That's gonna be Bob Kerman scooping that up underneath. Minute no 13 way. left on the clock. Let's see if they get anyone in and around that goalie, looking for the stun. As Bob Kerman is dancing around, uh, looking for that pass. Not a lot of no open way. space. Finally find someone down below. Good little pass, but that's not enough. And that's gonna get cleared out of the way by Logic. Logic up to the teammate who's gonna clear that one all the way down, 54 seconds on the clock. Yeah, 54 seconds and they can't let this go in. But... Oh! It does. If there was anyone to put the final nail in the coffin, who else would it be? Who else would it be? But it's not necessarily a GG if they score within like 10, 15 seconds. Uh, like literally 10 seconds and then they have to score within two. Technically possible, unlikely, statistically improbable. Um, but nevertheless, that's not going to hurt. That's not going to hurt at all, but that will get picked up as uh, Fault will get the clear. But man, oh man, I mean, what a game. While it's fresh on the noggin, I also do want to say um, uh, uh, a huge, huge play from Carlos. Some great counterattacks. I would have loved to see some more cut passes and some aggressive pushing and forcing, um, you know, uh, underground nation to make a move there just on your last offense when you're only three points behind but ggs seriously what an incredible game to watch i'm so excited to see where carlos goes and of course if you haven't already make sure you do check out their fan art because their fan art is absolutely incredible on their team page i want to hear all about it uh, next cast but seriously great jobs uh, from both these teams this is just the beginning of the season carlos new team this is the beginning of the story this is the beginning of the season this is just the beginning and i am so excited to see how high how far you can go here in vrml so huge congratulations underground nation winning the second match huge congratulations uh to uh seven winning the first one but uh man what an absolute great game uh night of games offbeat oh absolutely absolutely uh big Big shout out, of course, to Wonder Team and on the cams. Uh, he and Luke put this evening together. I just jumped in here to steal the spotlight at the very last minute, uh, which I was very, very glad that I could do. This this was a, a, an incredible evening, a great job. And I do want to, of course, I know we've been saying the name uh, for the last 30 minutes, but hey, uh, excellent job, Faults. Faults ending the day with 20, 20 points, which is a really incredible job, especially considering that's what there's like what, eight, eight points that that weren't his that were coming in from underground nation uh incredible solo effort there um but carlos was everywhere and faults was also everywhere they battled in the trenches and and they gave us uh, some excellent excellent echo content here it was it was a heck of an evening i hope you all in chat had a ton of fun because i know we did uh, up here in the casters booth oh we absolutely did we always have fun off beat and of course, huge shout out, as you said, to Wonder Team Man and the entire production team. But more importantly, shout out to you folks, because you folks, part of the community, are the ones that make this possible, um, that we can have some fun and watch some. But even more so, the mods make this possible. Huge shout out to them who do all the work behind the scenes that you don't see. We get to have some fun, uh, but that is it. That is all. Offbeat is next to me. Wonder Team Man on cams. I'm the one you see, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.
VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products Border Foods VR Cover ProTube VR Rebuff Reality and VRWare.net